it seems like we'll never reach a moment where there's peace and quiet in South Africa. As we're dealing with the whole Mboro thing, whereby he was acting like Deadpool, wielding swords and whatever, there comes a document which was dropped by the Department of Home Affairs recently. I don't know when it was dropped. Um, it's almost 10 p.m. as I'm recording this video. So, um, if you guys remember, there's a whole ongoing issue of identity, citizenship, whatever, which has been questioned a lot by social media users. Um, apparently, a contestant of Miss Essay is accused of not being South African, right? Um, before they said she had flags of Nigeria and Mozambique, which meant that she usually when you post two flags on your bio, it means that you are descendant, you descended from those particular countries. So after the whole issue was questioned, she deleted the flags out of her bio, which was weird. So we're not get, gonna get into that. Uh, so social media users have been arguing and they got the minister involved of sports arts and culture who apparently said that he was going to look into it and boom, here's a document. Apparently there's an ongoing investigation concerning the mother because we know about the father, he's Nigerian. That has been publicized that he is Nigerian. But the question was, where does the mother come from? Because people said the mother was closer I think it was a particular department which said the mother was closer and the people were like no um we want to prove that she's actually south african what qualifies her to be south african to an extent that she can participate in miss south africa which is exclusively for south african so there has been an ongoing debate people talking about other you know people saying that what about them why and then no complaints and whatever and whatever but if you look at that issue, where it started usually, it's definitely from Twitter. Because on Twitter, there has been an ongo ongoing feud between South Africans and Nigerians. Nigerians usually, it started with Amapiano basically. Nigerians claim that they created Amapiano and they still claim that they create better Amapiano than South Africans. So South Africans don't like that. So... They don't want Nigerians because Nigerians brag a lot on social media. They've tried to claim <laughs> ownership of Tyler when she won uh, a Grammy. You know, it has been ongoing for quite some time. Now, whom have just dropped this document that we're going to get into in a minute? Um, the heading says ongoing home affairs investigation finds prima facie indications on fraud committed by Chidima added Tina's mother. The Department of Home Affairs here with provides an update on the ongoing investigation into the citizenship of Chidima Adechina, a contestant in the upcoming Miss Essay event. The reason for the ongoing nature of investigation is that its scope has broadened since the original request received from the organizers of Miss Essay based on the information uncovered by Home Affairs investigation so far. Now, it's a great thing that Miss Essay took this matter very seriously and they didn't ignore the public. You know, the fact that they took this step and requested this whole investigation to take place, it's a step in the right direction. And we appreciate whoever is in charge for taking this serious because people were worried, Hori. What if a non-South African citizen wins a South African competition? And not just a non-South African citizen, a Nigerian citizen. Remember, they, they, there is a funny thing that I saw on social media. One user said, um, imagine Nigerians saying the most beautiful women in South Africa are Nigerians. So I think that's what sparked the whole debate. So uh, it says the department nonetheless provides the public update based on the official request received from Ms. S.A., as well as the consent provided by both the contestant and her mother. We will provide a final update once the investigation is concluded. Now, the mother is the one who is at question mostly, because um, she's the missing piece between us finding out the citizenship of Chidima, right? We already know the father is Nigerian, so that doesn't disqualify her just as yet. We need to know the citizenship of the mother, the nationality of the mother first, then we can know. If she's South African, then definitely she'll be qualified to participate. But if she's not, then there's definitely something off with the system. 
uh, and it says on Monday, the 5th of August 2024, the organizers of the event sent the department a request to verify the citizenship of a contestant who apparently is Chidima Adechina. This request was accompanied by written consent from both the, uh, Adechima and her mother. Upon receiving the request, the department deployed every resource at, at its disposable disposal to establish the truth. This has included archival research, visits to hospitals, and site visits to verify information. From the information we have uncovered thus far, the Department of Home Affairs can indicate that uh, prima facie reasons exist to believe that the fraud and identity theft may have been committed by the person recorded in Home Affairs records as Chidima's mother. Now, I went ahead and searched prima facie charges and it says based on first, first impression accept, accepted as correct until proven otherwise meaning that they accept whatever they have said until information and research has been completed which might prove them otherwise so it says uh, Adichima could not have participated in the alleged unlawful action of her mother as she was an infant at the time when the activities took place in 2001 now it's about to get interesting and it says an innocent South African mother whose identity may have been stolen as part of the alleged fraud committed by Adichina's mother suffered as a result because she could not register her child. Now, there are two ways this could have went. Either the mother took somebody's identity and, you know, registered as that particular person and then used that, person, that person's identity to you know, register the child, get the birth certificate. And, you know, when the actual mother wanted to register her actual child, they found out that she she has already been registered and the child and whatever, you get it. Another way is that uh, there's, there could have been possibly been money involved, right? Because there's been such cases in the past, um, I've heard, I've read about such cases in the past where, but in usual cases, it's usually the mother approaching a male, you know, South African, offering them money in exchange of them claiming to be the father of their child. That's how I know it usually happens. Now, it could have been possible that they paid somebody else and said, here is my child. I want to get a citizenship for this child. Can you please register her as yours? then we'll pay you a particular, you know, amount. Now, those are the two ways that I think this could have went. I don't know the truth. We're just waiting for the final report and whatever. And it says the, pro the, the department has broadened its investigation to identify and pursue any individuals involved in the alleged fraudulent scheme and is obtaining legal advice on the implication of the alleged fraudulent activity. Now, this, you know, with South Africa, there's a lot of fraud that's, that's happening within a lot of departments of government, not only the Department of Home Affairs, but this is one of the, also one of the biggest departments that experiences a lot of issues. A lot of people are buying IDs. That there was once an episode of Sizok Tola whereby a lady, I don't know if it was a lady or a guy who was claiming that they get passports from South Africans working within the South African uh, Home Affairs Department, you know, which is said what it happened to Golan, who was uncovering such a lot of information. But there was the situation. This kind of seems like it's a scheme that has been going on for a long time. You know, a lot of people have citizenships, they have South African names, yet they are not South Africans. So, you know, if they can venture into this investigation, there is a lot that we will uncover as a country. There is a lot that we will know. Imagine if this issue was never brought up, we would have never even reached this point whereby we find out now that there are possibilities of fraudulent activities concerning the citizenship. We, we were never going to reach this point. So, and it says, upon the completion of the investigation, 
Huma Fest intends to press criminal charges against all implicated parties, meaning everybody else who was involved in issuing out certificates, involved in covering up the whole situation. Now, that's a very good thing that they are doing. But what I want to talk about before I close off the video is now the person at hand, Chidima, uh, are we gonna say she's innocent like really really innocent in this whole situation i know these are big uh things that i'm about to say but that's just what i think i'm not saying it's how it is but with me i don't believe she's actually innocent completely because i don't think it's possible that she didn't know that the person who's registered as her mother is not her actual mother. She might have been young during that time, but growing up, she definitely knew she can see her. My mother is not South African. We are Nigerians or whatever nationality they are because she is apparently married in Nigeria or she's married to a Nigerian. So which means she was clearly, clearly sure of her nationality. So which takes me back to what I said. I don't believe that she's completely innocent. She might have not known when it began. But growing up, she knew. And entering the competition, she also knew. That's what I think. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section. Don't come for me. This is my personal opinion. Till next time, peace.